Missy Bauer, Associate Field Agronomist for Farm Journal. We're here in southern Michigan today checking a western bean cutworm trap. This is the trap that we have set up a few weeks ago and we've been monitoring this trap on a very regular basis. You can see it's just a simple milk jug trap where we cut the sides uh, out of it and in the inside we have a mixture of antifreeze, water, and a little bit of soap. And then in the top of the milk jug trap we have a pheromone and this pheromone helps attract the western bean cutworms. It's designed especially for them. So we have that placed in the top and hooked with a paper clip. The trap itself, once we start checking the trap for moths, we're going to want to make sure that the moths that we are counting are actually western bean cutworm moths. As you can see here in my hand, I have two different moths that I've pulled out of my trap today. Uh, the moth here that I'm pointing at is a western bean cutworm moth. We can identify that by what we call a kidney shape and a pea shape lighter band on the wings and then also a lighter white band around the edges of the wings. This here moth is a very dark colored moth and has more antenna coming out of the front uh, that is much different than what we see with this western bean cutworm. So we want to make sure that we do a good job identifying and count only the western bean cutworm moths that are in this trap. Today is July 13th in southern Michigan and we noticed that starting on July 9th through the 13th in this five day period we've been catching a lot of moths and some individual moth traps we've caught as many as a hundred or more and according to Chris Stefanzo from Michigan State University trap catches of 50 to 100 are considered to be high and should indicate that we need to start scouting our cornfields when we're scouting our cornfields for western bean cutworm we're scouting for the egg masses as well as any newly hatched larva. The threshold for that is 5%. So if 5% of the plants have egg masses or newly hatched larva on them, it would be an indication that we're at threshold and would need to spray that field. We also want to keep track of the genetics in our fields because depending on the genetics that you have, there may be control of western bean cutworm or there may not be. So you want to look at your labels on your hybrids to know what your resistance that you naturally have in the plant.